going on YouTube it's day life here and today's video is all about Fallout 4 on the PC and how it runs on my MSI GTX 970 here are the settings that I have everything is maxed out as you can see nothing is set to even a little less than ultra everything is maxed out as high as it can be on this game now as you can see the FPS will be on the top left right there and it's it the entire game it stays around in the 70s anywhere from 70 to 75 uh, it does dip below when uh, you know you, you show the entire world and it has to render a huge draw distance uh, I've seen it drop to about 35 which rarely rarely happens but it does happen so hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'm on pretty low level i haven't really put in that many hours but so far i'm really enjoying it the world is nice it's kind of i feel like it's it's an upgraded fallout 3 um the graphics are pretty good but they aren't insane amazing but they are good there's these moments where the game does shine graphically where you're like wow that's very very nice but then there's other times where it's just like wow are these like n64 textures like what's going on here so here i'm just uh i'm not really you know gonna go all out here i'm just gonna run around it's night time you can see the fps counter in the 70s again and it's running around looking at stuff looting uh, every time I go do a quest, I have to, you know, to get to the quest, I run into a I bunch of different areas where I just loot, 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 and I spend, you know, an hour before I get to the actual quest zone because I'm, I'm looting everything and talking and doing all this stuff. This guy here, I'm not going to trade you anything, bro. But right now, I'm doing a quest where I have to talk to this dude... And he's in the water. He for somehow he's gonna you know end up in the water. I don't know, like the radiation water. So you guys can see FPS hasn't dropped below 70, so that's always good. It's really optimized well as you can see um you know the graphics aren't really super demanding so i guess that's why it runs you know fairly well yeah man yeah die die you're gonna die tonight Oh my god, those freaking mole rats or whatever. I hate those things. Oh no, it was not. It's not a, a mole rat thing. Come on, dog, get them. Come on, dog. There you go. Loop, 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 loop. The crafting in this game is ridiculous. It's actually pretty crazy. You can build like your own town. Literally build anything you want from you can put paintings you can put couches you can put storage you can make a two-story house you can do anything it's pretty damn cool so i'll give bethesda credit for that because that that's really really badass my health is low gotta pick up some uh health the radiation stuff is kind of annoying but it makes sense i guess you know like right here again guys you can see in the 70s hasn't dropped below 70 but it is nighttime we shall see how it does in the daytime in the daytime it still does about the same but the draw distance does take effect third person view I never play in third per person view feels clunky you know how 
Bethesda does their game. Skyrim is the same thing. You play in third person, it just feels weird. So I just stick to first person 97% of the time. We're running down the town. And again, this is running on my gaming rig. If you guys haven't seen the video of my computer, I'll put a link to the description of it below of the video. You guys can take a look at that. It's a Fractal R5 case with a 4790K, uh, 16 gigs of RAM at a 1866 megahertz, a Corsair RAM, an MSI GTX 970. 4G edition, more like the 3.5 gig edition, but whatever. Uh, but it, it runs this thing like nothing. This is my little settlement that I have with my storage. And I'm just going to put a couple thing, things in storage. There's really a lot of loot, and everything you loot is useful. Uh, you can scrap it. You can, you know, it, everything is, it's not, you know how in Skyrim you run around and you loot everything? Everything, 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 you keep it, you spend 200 hours in the game, and then you realize you haven't done much with it, and you just have piles and piles of that. Well, in here, everything you loot is useful for crafting, for uh, decorating your home, for so it doesn't feel like a waste, which is what I like. Everything feels like it has a purpose. So you loot, loot, loot. Um, usually every time I'm do I, I finish a mission, I go back. And I store as many things as I can, so I lower my inventory space. And then on the next mission, I loot, 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 loot. Come back here and store and store and store, store, store. So I can, you know, make a pretty sick base, home base after with defenses, turrets, and all that. But the crafting does get pretty intense. So that's, that, I, I really like that. And this seems like it will, it, you know, you're... I'm going to put in a lot of hours on this for sure. So let's get to this NPC guy I need to talk to. Um, I don't think this is going to be really a spoiler. So it's just one quest. It's like it's literally like the third quest in the game, like the main story quest in the game, like second or third quest. So don't don't get, you know, don't feel bad. No, I'm not really gonna, not going to spoil anything. So see let's see i was gonna get it for ps4 but i was like no there's no way i gotta get it for pc now i'm, I'm looking for this npc guy and i realize that for some reason he's in the water like i don't know what the hell he's doing there so let's uh yeah stay sharp there's something i need to ask you i don't think i ever told you what happened to the minute how I ended up with the last one. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quinzy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. In the Commonwealth too. Yeah, so for some reason he just lays in the water now. Whatever. So now, picked up the quest and uh, I'm gonna 
fast travel. So you guys can take a look at the daytime cycle. How it looks. Looks all nice and pretty. We're gonna go there now. Come on, buddy. Alright guys, so I fast traveled and here we are. This is the, the first city you go to in the beginning of the game. I'm still in the beginning of the game actually. And everything is nice, again, beautiful, but then when you go get close, like this truck, man, those textures are like, oof, N64 for life. Like, <laughs> the t some of those textures are scary. But overall, look at the lighting. The It looks nice. It looks like a piece of art. But when you zoom in... Ugh, it's just a little little just not too great but I still love it and you guys can see the FPS stays consistent throughout except maybe for now when uh, when it's daytime you go out into the you have to render big 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 draw distances it will drop a little bit look man I've been thinking about this for a long long time I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something on two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Watch. Dropping a little bit. 50s. 45. 39. For some reason there it dropped. Rarely happens. If you guys can see we're at almost a 12 minute mark. And it never dropped below 70. And now here it did drop to 39 for a, a little FPS spike. 50 is back to 70. I really don't think that's bad. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my Fallout 4 video. Peace out.